Hello friends, welcome to the Smart Excel. This video is about power pivot versus power measures. So that we can do the same things in power measures. So the data will be like actual versus budget. So let's go to the data sheet. You know, this is a simple data sheet. And I want to see <clears throat> how my actuals and budget has been affected so i can make this through if conditions and uh, calculating this but i don't want to uh, i don't want every time to go and compile the data so i want in one shot so we can use the same thing in power pivots so this data is already in tables, so we're going to manage data and uh, so you have to update this data into add this data into a data model. So now this is data is in data model. So I'll be showing you how to do in power pivots and power measures. So I'll be showing what the difference in these two so first we will be calculating budgeted minus actual so it will be like equal to actual uh, sorry budgeted minus actual so there are couple uh, some of positive and negatives so whatever is uh, a negative will be a deficit and whatever is in positive value plus value will be excess so before that i will be seeing so i'll give this a name as differences and i'll be calculating the lowest so I'll give you this name as lowest. So I will see I'll be saying which is the lowest one, which is the highest. So it will be called the name min function. Min. So either you can just check here or either you can go to the sheet. So automatically the system will be selecting it. So the both the way it is fine. To this actual, so you can see the screen tips over here. We have to close the parenthesis and enter. So you can see the lowest is 50 and lowest over here is 7. So it is calculating the lowest. Okay, now I'll be calculating the deficits and the excess. So the formula is like equals to if in parenthesis budgeted amount minus actual amount is greater than zero so to be a Excess is greater than greater to the excess, else it will be a deficit. So I'll be adding double quotes over here also, and here and I'll be closing the parenthesis. So you can see excess and deficit. So our budget was eight point two, actually was seven. So all positives are in excess and all negatives are in deficit. So we'll be giving this as the we'll give this as name as a deficit or excess only. So 
so now i want to have a mark of value so mark of value is if the sum uh, budget minus actual is greater than zero then i will be having a 14 percent mark of only if there is a profit only if there is excess so i can write in many ways so it's like an if condition open parenthesis budgeted amount minus actual amount is greater than zero then actual amount into 14 sorry will be multiplied so we can't have we can't have percentages over here so it will give an error 14 divided by 100 plus the so it plus the actual amount if the result is false then the zero it's just like a normal x condition so you will have a 14 percent markup value so i'm renaming this one as markup so it will only calculate when there is a excess. So if there is a deficit, there will be deficit, there will be no markup value. So all the deficits are zero. So this is the thing I have done, all the things in Power Query. So now we can use this into a Power Pivot table also. We can just convert this into a pivot table with charts and all. Or flattened pivot table. I'll be showing you how to use flattened pivot table. So in a new worksheet. So this is a flattened pivot table. So we can have you know, multiple. It's a big vast one. So you can see things. So this is in data model. You can see it's black over here. So it's in the data model. So now we can, if you want, you can arrange this into. A, it's in source order only. Okay. So if you want, you can check the. So see all this uh, which data we have added has been here yeah, difference lowest and all so this is excess and deficit uh, if you can use the differences markup lowest or if not you can do this for the main category also so all this will be showing in this type when you're doing the in power pivots but the same things if i want to do and if i want to add kpis so now you can see measures new measures it's, it's giving a new column so you can see this is all in power pivots. now if you want measures in power measures you will have fx sign and then you can make into a kpi or convert that power measure into a kpi so how to do power measures you can refer to my previous video either you can go directly into manage and here if you want to you can add the actual and the budget and do the same thing so so all this is done through power so it's similar similar to if conditions you can see minimum min conditions so similar to normal excel formula so it's called dax formula also so if you want, I want to show you how to you do the same thing in power measures. So power measures already you can see the same thing I'll be converting into power measures. Now you can see what is the difference. Now as they manage measures, there's new no measures, so I'll be adding a new measure. So in power measures, you can check the formula on the spot. So our first uh, group of group of activity was difference. So difference will be like i'm making the number as uh, in the beginning only so measure my name i'll be giving this as difference two because 
description measures. So I don't need to give a description. So budgeted amount. So it's calling like main budget amount minus main actual amount. I want to see that if the formula is working. So you can see an error. The formula is not getting the best enough shapes. So how to tackle this is the form problem now. Now you can do is you have to check for sum of. So you can see there is no called sum of. We don't have it. We don't have anything in sum of, so I will be just cancelling this. I will be going to manage data models. So here I will be adding a sum, and here I'll be adding a sum again. Okay, now I can. Uh, now I'll be going to the closing this. I don't need to save it. I'm going to measures. And now I'm checking sum. I can see sum is already added over here. So sum of budgeted amount minus sum of actual amount. Now I'll be doing number using separator and this name will be difference. I don't want to put different one. Let's see what's going to happen. So let's check the formula. There is no error in the formula. The formula is working fine. A measure of column with the same name different already exists. Choose a different name. So this is the error over here. So I'll be doing one. Difference one. And I'll be doing OK. So now the same column is here. But you can see excess things are also, also added over here. But the requirement is this. So now already we have this here differences. So you can see the values are same. But we have all those things in uh, the different format. So it's already taking the decimals and all. So the same next one is lowest. So I'm showing you how to do the lowest now. So I'll be making this as lowest. I should make lowest one actually. So lowest is like mean. Min actually. So it can be like budgeted amount. So let's I will see what is going to have budget and minus a comma. The second secular is actual amount. I'm closing the parenthesis. It's an error, showing an error. So I'll be taking a budgeted amount in sum. Sum of actual amount. I'll be closing the parenthesis. Now there is no error. But I have to make this the lowest one. So it's showing already so I'll make it just lowest one and okay. So you can see you can see the difference of power query is our power pivot formulas and power measures. So these are all power measures. You can see fx. So these are calculated in power measures, and you can see the manage measure. You can see the measures are added over here. So apart from that. There is something called deficit and excess and markup. So that's also the same way. A new measure. It's like if open the parenthesis. Number I'll be giving this into. So this will be deficit or excess. So. Sum of 
budget amount minus some actual amount. Greater than zero, then will be an excess. Else, showing you that I have to see what is the deficit. Showing that because it's a text, there is no error in the formula. So this is saying like deficit or excess. So this is again so it's two. So this add again. So you can see the values are almost the same. And uh, the things are also almost the same. And uh, now the main thing over here is why we use power measures. So we can create KPIs. So I'll be showing you how to create KPIs. So there's one more thing called markup. I will not be doing that. So pretty boring. You can uh, see the same same uh, formula can be added over here. So I don't want to waste time on that. So make a video too lengthy. So I'll be just my idea is how to add a KPI or a markup. So the KPI and market I'll be showing in the next video. I hope you find this video useful and uh, please uh, forward this video. So the video will be called as the difference between power pivots and power measures. So these are all. Power measures. The same thing I have showed you in measures. So this is the same th in the same answers, but in a different technique. So what is the use of this technique? I'll be showing you in the next video. So the main reason is KPIs and how to make a KPI. I'll be showing you in the next video. So I hope you find this video useful, and I hope you uh, see my next video. And uh, uh, thanks for watching. Please share this video so many people can get the benefit and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.